Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kiki in? <laughs> are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are, because now it's time for Hey Queen, Holla Queen special with your host, Johnny McGovern! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my zealous zombies, and welcome to the Hey Queen, Holla Queen special! <laughs> With me, your host, Mr. Johnson McGovernus. Do you like my costume, sweetie? Girl, I'm Beyonce's boot from Beachella! Just kidding, I got a real costume under here. I am... Skeletor, Skeletor, slutty brother. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm just a bear in a t-shirt. That's good. We'll call it Bear Yonce, okay? Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness, today's show is going to be an eerie, query one, honey. We have a garishly gorgeous ghoul in the haunted house from season two of RuPaul's Drag Race and All Stars 2, the fantastically fishy, ridiculously ravishing Tatiana is here! Yeah. <laughs> but before she brings her beautylicious bones on out here, there's someone else you must encounter. Legend has it. She's gobbled up many a trick-or-treaters. Oh. On the eve before Halloween, all the children play her favorite game. Oh. Ding dong, bitch. <laughs> and we all know her candy is both full size and fun size. Oh. Please help me welcome Miss Lady Dead Couture. <laughs> You look gorgeous. Oh, baby, can you guess what I am? A uh, cast member from The Wiz? <laughs> <laughs> Close, but no care. <laughs> what, you look great, but what are you, uh, well, no, tell me what you are. I am a scary godmother. Oh. <laughs> a Paris Dickus. <laughs> you can grant wishes, but they're only sexy wishes. Only sexy wishes, sexy wishes. <laughs> yes, hunty. <laughs> oh, well, honey, Halloween is not only a time for tricks, it's a time for treats. You! Yes. Honey, our guest today is definitely a treat. Oh. After so many years we've been chatting with her yes. about coming on the show, we had her on our Hey Queen Live right. at DragCon. Yes. But that was before All Stars 2. <sighs> Before she There's really so got much it. tea. Oh my God. There is so much <laughs> tea to spell <laughs> with the one and only Tatiana. Yeah! <laughs> and she's going to be with us right after this very gay parade. Yeah! Our guest today, honey, always brings the tea. She has slayed the game on two seasons of RuPaul Drag Race. And girl, she released not only an album, but a perfume this year, sweetie. The glamorous, yeah! Tatiana is here. Yeah! Hey, queen. What's up, girl? Honey. Girl. Happy Halloween. <sighs> Um, right. is, now, let me guess what this look is. Is this look a uh, woman who works in Prince's office? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Very good. Just a normal business attire. You know. At Paisley Park. <laughs> Casual. <laughs> lady Red, look at this beautiful lady right here. Oh, my goodness. You know, I, I really love to do a beauty look, but today I was like, honey, we got enough fish in the house. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the, the, that is, you're just a fish in the sea today for Halloween. Swimming around, you know. Oh, girl. Well, congratulations <laughs> on a big year. The album, 
Thank you. That's yes. pretty exciting. Thank you. She already said. I already oh, said. I did. I already said something <laughs> iconic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so T1 came out. Yes. That must have been a big undertaking. That was. I mean, it came out like naturally, the way that we created it. It right. wasn't like we set out to do an album. We did the same parts, and then we recorded a follow-up track, uh, Transform. And then we just were like, well, let's just keep recording. Let's try this out. Let's see what we want to do. And then it ended up being like 11 tracks. So, I mean, and you said you happened. wanted that record to be like our early 2000s yes. pop star jam. I really, well, that's like my whole thing. That's I love like late, that's very my <laughs> yeah. aesthetic. Good old late 90s, early 2000s situation. So. Yeah, because your live uh, shows at town, you've done all the early 2000s divas oh, all in of those them. shows where if they flipped a, if they flipped a hair, they wore a crop top, sweetie, you did them. It was me. It was <laughs> yeah. me. Yes. Girl. And so that vibe came through on the whole album because when I was listening to it, I was like, it's this Miss Britney Spears or Miss Jessica Simpson or Miss Christina Aguilera? Oh, Jessica Simpson, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love that reference. Yeah, you were telling me earlier, <laughs> but next year will be the 10 year anniversary of you guys filming season two? Yeah. Girl. Decade of drag. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Red, can you believe this bitch still looks so damn good 10 years into the game? All I'm saying is fillers really work. Oh, bitch. <laughs> they do. They do. That bitch is beat. I'm sorry, honey. I fill my upkeep. face with chicken fat. She fill her face with other stuff. <laughs> well, you really do look great. Thank you. The body's together. The face is together. Trying. And, uh, and also, as a boy, you rock it in sexy style, sweetie. Thank you. When we ran into each other at town uh, like a couple oh. of months back. Full beard. I was like, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> there he is. Uh, you're looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that actually brings us to a very special segment because, sweetie, it is time for Tea for Two. Season two, that is. Oh. Bring out <laughs> the tea card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh. A little devil with our Dia de los Muertos. Hi, <laughs> T-Set. T-Set right here. Oh, oh thank you. Thank look you. at that, Tatiana. We want only the best. Classy. For Miss Tatiana, sweetie. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. Thank you, little devil. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this little devil pouring the tea. Oh, that tea's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Brown, are you joining us for the tea? Yes, but my tea is special. I'll have high tea. <laughs> I bet you will. Well, Tatiana, some invisible tea? Mm. Cheers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mm. Delicious. Tastes like season two of RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm. <laughs> very little, thank you little devil, run along. Oh, very nice. So I wanted us just as girlfriends, just yes. sit around with our tea and bond and maybe spill some of the secrets yeah. of season two, sweetie. So you were quite a, a kid coming into the situation you had done three shows, you said. All three, yes. All three <laughs> shows. Uh, how long had you been beating your face, even? I mean, well, I mean, throughout high school, and then Just, I was working at Mac from 18. Okay, so you had that, that I did have, experience. Yes, I knew about how to, you know, do makeup. I know way more now, but, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, yeah, so, I mean, just that, just that high school and late teens makeup, working yeah. at the mat counter, that's what I came into Drag Race with. Wow. Yeah. So what was that first moment of walking into the workroom like on that season? It was gross. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> this is before, obviously, before like now everyone walks in and they're like, here's my catchphrase. Right. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. And I walked, I literally walked in, I think what I, I went, Hi. <laughs> and that was it. Oh my God. Uh, but I notice I have a nervous tick where like if I feel very uncomfortable, I chew imaginary gum. Really? So if you watch that first walk in, I'm like, hi. No gum in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I don't know. It's a weird nervous tick that I found out that I have, so. 
That's very interesting. It's weird as hell. Now, <laughs> yeah. once you got into the into the mix, th those are some seasoned queens. Yeah. They're with you. So, what was that vibe like? Um, I mean, I remember being very intimidated and just not I was like, well, "Why did I do that? <laughs> why did I do this?" Um, yeah, I mean, that's all. I knew I, I was comfortable with Juju because mm -hmm. we, we both knew each other from the online race. So her and Jessica, I remember being really excited to see her in person because I'd seen Jessica's like all of her choreographed numbers mm -hmm. and everything. I was a fan. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, fuck. That's well, let's just try our hardest yeah. here. <laughs> we'll take, like, it, it showed that you were really a strong person because I know you've talked about in the past that like you got in trouble at school for beating up your bullies. Oh yeah, I'm all about fighting people. <laughs> right. Yes. So you were not <laughs> afraid to get in the mix, even no. though you were just 20, 20 years old at the time. Twenty one. Twenty one. Right. Yeah. So you were not afraid to mix it up with Raven, Morgan, Tyra. Those are not shrinking violets. No. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, like I've always been aggressive when it comes to defending myself. Mm. I'm real good at cursing a bitch out. Right. And I, I kind of enjoy that back and forth situation. <laughs> so anytime that I get the chance to like genuinely like let someone know about themselves, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I don't try to do it just like automatically, but right. like if you try me, then I'm like, oh, I get to get out all this like pent up aggression. Right. If they send for you, you will come for them. Yes. <laughs> Very that. So. That was fun. <laughs> they kind of like, it seemed like the, a lot of people gave you, those girls gave you a lot of shit that year for being too pretty, too young, yeah. too whatever. What, what, was you, what was your vibe on that whole thing? Um, I think the overwhelming thing was you're not doing drag. You're not drag enough. You're not draggy. You just look right. like a girl. I'm like, well, yeah, that's like my thing. Like the hell? <laughs> now, I ain't trying to come up here looking like an alien or some shit. Like this is what I like to do. And I've kind of stuck to that, which I'm proud of myself for. Yeah. There was a moment after doing season two where I tried to <clears throat> like meet people's expectations. Mm. So I tried to pile on aggressive amounts of makeup and like harsh contour and all that stuff. And I just ended up looking ridiculous. Right, because so it's not, not your look. It's not my look. You're a, more of a fishy queen no. of natural beat. Yeah. You got those bones, sweetie, you might as well use them. And those are real too. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it's come full circle now because now I have like elements of more drag, drag going on in the mug and everything, but still realistic. Still realistic, yes. <laughs> now, what was, what's your favorite and least favorite memories from season two of Drag Race? What was the most fun thing? Damn, I would say, oddly enough, the singing challenge. Uh huh. Which I was not down to do. Like I was very close to being like, I'm just not gonna do this. Not gonna do it. Mm. I was about to just walk out because that was like my biggest fear. Like going into, I was like, oh, I hope they don't make me actually sing. Right. To people. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's when we were sponsored by Absolute, and uh, hey, you killed we, it. We all made. <sighs> Well, no, we all made, we, none of us felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. So we all requested, uh, can we drink while we're getting ready? Uh -huh. And they like brought out cocktails and then they brought out a second set of cocktails. Oh. Oh. And <laughs> Lady Red, like, you know that's definitely danger when that happens. Oh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> so drunk. Right. So drunk. Wait, I hold think... on a second. This tea is spiked. <laughs> 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 so drunk. Right, because think... that was the before the no drinking or that one was us. drink rule. Oh, Y'all did it. Yeah, that was us. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait, so take um... me back to the <laughs> drunkest moment on Drag Race. Y'all are singing Lady Boy, right? <laughs> We're all shit-faced. Me and Juge went around and killed all the drinks that other people didn't drink. Oh. <laughs> but when, that's what you call a shame spiral special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what happened... I think on the show, it just said, like, I think they explained that Juju was emotional. And that's why she didn't know the lyrics. <laughs> but in truth, she was just sloshed and she had to go last. So, like, her body had all that time to metabolize Ooh. everything. And so by the time it was her turn, 
She was like, is there a Muslim? <laughs> Girl, so bad. And then I think it's like untucked or I think it is untucked where like she walks in, she's the last girl to walk in. You catch my face, I'm sitting there. And the moment she walks in, you see me go, and it's me judging her. I was like, oh, bitch, you drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think they filmed us for maybe 10 minutes and realized, like, we can't show any of this. So they wow. cut for lunch, and it's like, everyone has to eat. You guys can't drink for the rest of the day. We were like, OK. And then Juju passed out on the floor, just on her back, <laughs> lipstick out to here. <laughs> and me and Pandora, like, just hovered over her with lipstick and powder, just trying to get her back together again. Wow. Yeah. Walky lashes and all. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> and then when she got sent, so she, during the judging, um, you know, they go down the line. Judging takes so long. It's like an right. hour or two. And they're supposed to go down the line. Well, she, they did not. They started with <laughs> Juju. They're like, we're letting you know right now you're in the bottom. <laughs> go. And so she went up to, uh, the Interior Illusions Lounge. And that's when she cries and like slaps down the wet lashes on the table. Yeah. <laughs> that's just her alone in a room with a camera. My God. She's like, oh, I have to. <laughs> so. You, for having just done three shows, sweetie, you did pretty great on Drag Race season two. What was it like being there in front of the monster herself, Miss RuPaul, as the monster? You know what I mean? Like, oh. as her greatest thing. Like, was that intimidating? Was that insane? Because you didn't seem intimidated. I, um, weirdly enough, she's very comforting. Oh, interesting. Like, her interaction is I did not feel intimidated by speaking to her. Um, I thought I was going to, but right. she's just so, like, she's warm. Mm -hmm. So I, that kind of made me feel better. Also, she laughed at whatever the hell I said for some reason, so, <laughs> like, that helped. <laughs> it also seems like season two is a little more, she was a little less untouchable. Like, you know, when they come around and talk to us, like, in the workroom or whatever, there's like, they have to set up all the lights and all the cameras, so it's like five minutes of them doing that. You're just sitting there talking to her. It's like, hey girl, what's right. going on? How are ya? So it was cool. Yeah, I wasn't And she didn't scared. tell you to stop speaking? Oh, because the cameras were rolling. Oh, <laughs> she did not. I did oh. not have that experience. <laughs> just a little Halloween oh, humor, bitch. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tatiana, Thank you, because this has been tea for season two. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so then now you're famous in a in a way. You know what I mean? Like it's gay famous. Yeah. It was season two. <laughs> So it wasn't exactly, you know, it's not like right now where the minute no. you're on the show, you're booked for the next two years. Yeah. No matter how you did, really, right? Yep. The, that it was not exactly like. Not for me. Some <laughs> girls some girls did that. Like Juju was that type of girl. And mm. I think Raven was that type of girl. And Morgan, Morgan was already working consistently in LA or whatever, but they were all traveling a whole bunch. I think I traveled, like it was six months. I got to take off, like left my job and just traveled and did that and then bitch dried up. <laughs> had to go back. <laughs> had to go back and go, you know, back to the salon and mm. and that's when I think that's like yeah, that was around two thousand eleven, I wanna really? say. Okay. Yeah. And so then I was doing like drag on the weekends. I got right. to work at town in Washington DC. Yes. Home club. Um they dearly working. departed, just closed. Just closed, yeah. You did some legendary shows there. That place was amazing. Yeah. I would not be any of this without working there. Wow. Yeah, because I learned so much from all the other girls and like stage presence and how to do, and also we ran a dry show. Uh -huh. um, so like when I was touring, when I was like right off of season two, it was very uncomfortable for me to Performing was not, it just wasn't comfortable. Yeah, when you everyone only done it three knew. Times. <laughs> yeah, when I was at home and I did it before Drag Race, it was like, no one knows who the hell I am. It doesn't right. make a difference. Just fun. Now it's like there's an expectation. There, it, this is now something that people are looking mm. at you, and it was just a weird thing for me to um, deal with, like walking into a room and knowing no one, but everyone knows who you are. Yeah. 
very, very weird. So I would drink to compensate uh -huh. on, and I'd be like schlosted on <laughs> the stage, just trying to like give you a little Britney or some bullshit. Yeah. And it was like gross. So when I started working there, dry show, and I learned like quick changes, and we had a choreographer, Derek Brown. Awesome. And I always wondered about that because the numbers that you pulled off at town were very intricate with like multiple dancers. Oh yeah, that's, that's Derek Brown. Hey, Derek. <laughs> hey, Derek. Yes, <laughs> he uh, was our show producer and our choreographer for. He was choreographing us up until this summer. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you were working as a hairstylist still, Do yep. traveling on the weekends. Traveling or working in town. It was mainly just oh, okay. working in town. Working in town. Yeah, I was just balancing the two. And that kind of let, allowed you to develop into the performer you are today, right? Yeah. And then, like, I think four years later, four years later? Three years later, I just went full-time drag. Ah. When I turned 25, I was just unhappy. I'd been in customer service since I was 16, because my first job was at IHOP. Oh. <laughs> As a waitress? But of course. Yeah. Actually, I waited tables in drag one Halloween. <laughs> just full IHOP uniform and just like a nice wig and I mean, a cute little beat. Just the cutest new waitress Girl. at IHOP. My little square tip French manicure <laughs> going on. You oh. better uh, report to your shift manager, <laughs> Lady Red Couture. Lady Red, I hope you are watching out for your new waitress. I am being careful and serving up nothing but hot tea. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get fired at IHOP because you're always spilling the tea? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So, so now you're you've developed as a performer more. Yeah. And the call comes that for All Stars too. Tell me where you were at, what that was like, and what you were thinking. I was coming, <laughs> this is terrible. I was driving back from Taco Bell, and. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that's a good I love glamour a, girl, dog. Oh, love a good Taco Bell. Oh, that's um, I was driving home, and I'd just gotten into my uh, like complex, and uh, Theron, one of the producers at uh, World of Wonder, was like, hey, we're going to do this All-Star season two, and we want to know if you'd like to be a part of it. like." tossing it out there I'm like yeah yes let me do it and so then like a couple weeks passed and then you know then they do the interview process and the psych test and all that stuff mm. and yeah and then I what's finally the interview out. process like for all stars is it different just than, like what's happened since like what you've been up to so yep. girl who do you hate yeah who do you hate <laughs> who do you love right are you with anyone what's the update like performing wise whatever what have you so and were you feeling like, oh, bitch, I got to get on this? Because you, it must have been interesting to watch like the later seasons reap mm. bigger and bigger rewards and be like, I want some of that. Well, I just wanted like the lighting. And, <laughs> <laughs> you yes, know, bitch. I wanted like the lighting and the sets and like, <laughs> like I love the challenges and all that kind of, I mean, we had some cool stuff. Yeah. But every year just gets better, you mm -hmm. know? So I wanted to do all that fun stuff that they were doing. Yeah. I didn't really, I mean, it, it helps to be on a later season because you get that automatic rush to your career, but I just wanted to do the fun stuff. <laughs> right, and the fun stuff you did, honey. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get into talking about All Stars 2 and spilling all the tea, there's some tea that y'all need to know. We are in a very dangerous situation with the president that we have and the administration that is in charge of our lives. As you can see, what's been going on for the last month with the Supreme Court, the person who's in charge of the government is going to make decisions that are going to affect you for decades to come. Worried about women's rights? Worried about gay rights? Worried about the environment? Sweetie, that is all in your hands, in our hands, because if we do not vote, in the upcoming midterms, then you know who will vote? Evil conservative white people who want their uh, their people to be in charge and the people who are funded by the corporations. Those people are definitely going out to vote. So if you are watching this show and you are any minority, any part of the queer rainbow, and if you're just a good person, you want to make sure you get your ass out and vote to make sure that these evil ass people running the government don't continue to make decisions that are going to change your life for the worse. Right, Tatiana? 
Yep. This is the time. The time. No time for sitting around being like, well, I didn't really get to do it. I didn't want to go to the vote. You got to get out there and vote, vote or we got another, we got, you could have another uh, six <gasps> more years of Trump and <gasps> then Pence will come to the thing and then Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> you don't need that, okay? So get out there and vote. And if you're someone who says, well, I don't like the politics, Johnny, this is a queer ass show about queer ass people. So you, we will never not be political. And if you don't like it, deuces. Stop watching the fucking show. <laughs> yes. Bye. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. Now that Word. daddy was mean. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Red, are you ready to spill some all-stars tea? I got my wall, but I'm <coughs> ready to put it somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the world gagged when Miss Tatiana was announced to return. Yeah. Were you feeling good? Were you feeling excited? I was super excited. Mm. I had a lot of fun on that season. Cause now, what was your prep? Because it had been so long. Like, how long did you have to get your shit together? What were you, like, what was the process? They were good, because they really wanted, and they made sure to, like, let us know what we needed. They want us to look the best that we can look. Yeah. You know, what season is gonna be good when everyone looks boogered down and awful? Right. <laughs> so they gave us, like, a full month. Um, Ooh, that's good. Yeah. It was great, and so they gave us the list of all the possible looks. Some of them we didn't use, some of them we did, but right. the whole list. And then they always say like, bring like five gowns of you know looks that you just like or whatever. But the specifics we were told ahead of time. So now, did it you have to take out a loan like some of these other bitches? <laughs> you, no, you know um, my boss Ed Bailey at town. Uh, he actually gave me a nice check. Really? To, he sponsored a bitch. Oh, let's give that around. Oh, so nice. Yes. That is great. That's yeah. the kind of support a queen needs. Well, like right when I got it, I called like my friends and family and then I told him and he's like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, and then, yeah, he was just like, here. Yeah. That's so, beautiful. That awesome. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So <clears throat> you came back. What's the thoughts on that second workroom entrance? So much better. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what to do. Yeah. Luckily, all I had to do was say thank you. Yeah, exactly. So now, that was, was, there, was there a lot of thoughts about the different things that you might say? No, because I don't. I'm not someone who tends to be like too like preconceived with right. whatever. It's just whatever comes out. But I knew I was gonna say thank you. Yeah. Also, it's like the easiest thing to do. It garners a response. So yeah, it does. Sticking with that. <laughs> Let's talk about when you came out and you announced that you were gonna do. This piece Ugh. is called Same Parts. And you gagged all the other girls with that number. Tell me what tell me about how that came about and all the rest. All by chance. Oh. So originally, like uh when we were planning packing up and everything before we even left, they were saying we need to we're gonna do a talent show and we need to know what you're gonna do. They wanted to know what we were gonna do beforehand, before we even got there. And I didn't know. And me and my one of my close friends, Banaka, uh, we were talking about it. And there's a movie, what's it called? Uh, She's All That. Yeah. And she is a part of this like spoken word piece. Totally, yeah. And so we thought like, oh, it's gonna be funny. Like you do something like that, but then it's just you being weird and like acting out other girls' catchphrases. Oh, interesting. Just any girl's catchphrases. Right. And so that's what I did. I had a whole list of the catchphrases and I was gonna do it all weird. I had already had them like get the music for me because it had to be, you know, license, what is it, license free or whatever. Right, yeah. Yeah. And then I thought about it. I never rehearsed anything. And the night before, I was like, I don't think that's gonna work. I think the judges are gonna read me for focusing on other girls and not myself. Mm. I just was, yeah, I was just like, I don't know what to do and that night, right before I went to sleep, because they, you know, we have the little iPad or iPods or whatever. Yeah. Um, I was listening to it and I was like, I could use this. And it was this rap, the same parts was originally a rap that I wrote for me and my friends back when I was like 16 or 17. Wow. Yeah, and so I just like switched out a lot of the, the bad words in it and cleaned <laughs> it up a little bit for television. Yeah. Um, and then slowed it down. And I was like, well, I could call it a poem. 
Ooh, what's another word for po spoken word? Yeah. <laughs> so I just lied and was like, this is spoken word. <laughs> That's my talent. Yep. This piece is entitled Throwback. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when they everyone reacted to that in such a positive way, I was like, really? <laughs> okay, well, I did something. And then, it, now, I, this is what I've been meaning to ask you for a couple years. Mm -hmm. When, <laughs> after the show, it also became a hit single for Katya, who performed it yes. around the country <laughs> many, many, many times. What was your take on that? Well, she asked me, she's like, is it okay that I perform your single? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, girl, go for it. I mean, did I know that she was going to literally tour for a year doing it? <laughs> no, I didn't. It would be great where I would show up to somewhere where I hadn't performed before and mm -hmm. I was going to do it. And I mean, I did it, but like, like, oh yeah, Katya did it the last time she was here too. I'm like, oh. she's performed my song at a club that I haven't even been to yet. <laughs> I'm literally following her, doing my own shit. Right. <laughs> but yeah, it was great. I mean, she added to sales. And I think you guys <laughs> did it together at one point, right? Yeah, we did it together um, Halloween. I think it was Halloween 2016, I want to yeah, say. Yeah, I remember. It was one of those big, yeah. I think, Brandon Vaughn shows or something like yeah. that, right? I bought a whole bunch of severed hands. We threw them into the audience. <laughs> yeah. We also made out on stage. Oh, that was fun. Classic. You know. <laughs> As you do. As you do. When you're doing a duet <laughs> with Katya, I guess. Um, now, your Snatch game the second go round A little different. Was a little different. You were <laughs> the original. You invented winning Snatch game. Oh, just yeah. so we don't want to forget about that, right? Yeah! But Snatch Game Part 2 wasn't quite as easy. <laughs> no. no. Now you looked. Dead on. Snatch. Yes. On the nose. Perfect Dead Ariana on. Grande. Thank but you. a little more of a challenging character to do, right? Yeah, I don't know why. Just nothing was clicking. I had run, I'd brought two characters. I brought her and I brought Miley Cyrus. Uh-huh. And obviously looking back, should have done the Miley. But I wanted to try to show range instead of being another like white, blonde, southern pop star. Totally. I was like, oh, I'll try this like high whispering chick. Uh -huh. um, and a lot of, <laughs> I mean, and a lot of the character I was gonna do was like a salmon cat type of, when she's like, oh yeah. yeah. Like that's how she talks about that whole entire show. Right. So I was really trying to go for that, but it was just the questions. I couldn't think of anything cute and clever to fucking say. And I just, I could feel myself just like, oh no. <laughs> right. Yeah, that night before we even like, after we shot it and everything, we got out of drag and we're all going back to the, we're waiting for the vans to get us to go back to the hotel. And I like walked around a corner and just cried to myself. Oh. And one of the producers was like, it'll be okay. I'm like, no, it's not. I'm oh. definitely gonna go home on the second episode. Oh, no. <laughs> definitely taking place. Right. And you know what? It, it did. It did. So. Now, what was your feeling then? Because like you had made your big comeback, same parts was so incredible, and then it was snatched away. Yeah. I guess I'm just inconsistent. I mean, <laughs> I'm either really good or really bad. Um, yeah, it sucked. I was kind of mad at myself that I cried so much. I typically, I usually cry out of frustration mm. with myself normally. Right. Um, so yeah, I just felt like real shitty that day. Also, I didn't like my dress. Mm. I looked great in that dress. I still have that dress. <laughs> Good, as you should. I can't should. fit that dress anymore, but I still have it. <laughs> <laughs> now, luckily you got to come back. Yes. And that was a, now tell me about that call because where were you? You thought like, well, I hope I enjoyed my two episodes of fucking Drag Race. Back to the shit. Well, we, they, you know, you do your exit interview and then, oh, and I was already over. You want to know some tea? Yes, I, oh wait, hold on. Twerk. Lady <laughs> Rage, you got your cup. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> hmm? Oh, bippity boppity boo, okay. <laughs> so you do your exit inter, <laughs> you do your exit interview. <laughs> I have a rip in my stockings uh -oh. that happened during lunch or whatever. So, and they like, you have to pick up the trophy and give a tearful goodbye and then right. go put it back down and whatever. I was over it. All I wanted was a cigarette yeah. and they wouldn't let me have one. Oh my God, And girl. then as I'm talking to the camera, like saying like, oh, what I felt bad about or whatever, 
all of a sudden I hear this, ooh, girl. <laughs> and I literally clenched my jaw because I, I thought that someone made a mistake and played something they shouldn't have. Uh. I'm like, do I, if I have to repeat this whole thing, <laughs> I'm over it. And then they're like, how about you go see? I'm like, what, go see what? Like I was not playing. Mm. They sat me in front of that TV and then I have to watch this like cryptic message. <laughs> right. And it cuts, like the video ends and I'm like, They're like, oh, we need a reaction. And I was like, tell me what to say. Just feed me a line, because I'm not feeling this. Just give me a line. Mm. And they're just like, oh, wow, crazy or something. And I just repeated it. I was like, what? Oh, my god. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> this thing, you're like, yeah. What? I'm like, I've been crying for half of this afternoon. There's a rip in my fishnets. God damn god it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was like, what the fuck is this? And then they like later said, like, you have the option of going home and then coming back or just staying. Oh. And I was like, free food? Yeah. Huh? I'm staying. Hotel so, living? Come yep, on. They just changed uh, our hotel rooms. Like they put me on another wing of the hotel. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And then I got to, I also bartered to get my phone back. Oh. Because they take away the phone. Right. But I was like, well, if you sent me home, you would give me my phone back, right? Right. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. Smart girl. Phone back. Yep. Right. They weren't trying to. I'm like, you're going to give it to me. They're like, you can't post anything on social media. I'm like, I don't want it for that. Yeah. I just want to like make sure everyone's alive and I want something to like masturbate to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? I would um I don't the hotel didn't have like movie channels, but I would wait until night and watch MSNBC locked up. Oh. And I would just wait for one of them to be hot and just like go oh. as quickly as I could. <laughs> That yes. was oh, gotta no, make do. I think my earlier question about what type of man <laughs> I <I'm laughs> was looking for has been answered with this there you go. question. She says, uh, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> what type of man do you like a Sally? <laughs> <laughs> so you did get to come back. Yes. That was great. You knew, okay, bitch. Yeah. You got some more time. I just liked walking back into that drama that had absolutely nothing to do with me. Mm, right. With uh, Fifi and Alyssa and all that. I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I just get to watch it and not be a part of it. You're like, still got it. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you feeling about that, that last, you know, getting the boot, the whole t-shirt, Roxy, Alaska, et cetera? I mean, the moment that I was in the bottom, which I think me being in the bottom and that challenge was bullshit, put it out there. Um, my commercial was not like amazing, but it, it was not the worst by far. I should not have been in the bottom. But when I was in the bottom and it was Alaska and Katya, I already knew that I was gonna go home. Mm. Just knew it. I mean, I was hoping that Katya would pull through. Right. Cause I've had a feeling that she was going to save me. Um, but yeah, I knew. And then I was drunk. I'm always drunk when I get eliminated, by the way. <laughs> so when I got eliminated on season two, ooh, that was aggressive. So in season two, when I got eliminated, um, I had my drink and I knew I was gonna go home. You know, I'm, there's no way that they were gonna keep me over Juju, Raven, or Tyra. Right. Uh, and I was like, I want a refill. And they're like, no, you've had enough. And I said, I want a refill. And they wouldn't, and they used to have those big absolute bottles, like right. sit in the back. They told us day one, don't touch those. Uh -huh. And I was like, I'm gonna open it. They're like, don't. Like the <laughs> camera guy's like, no. And I'm like, huh? I poured myself a whole entire glass of vodka, put it back. I'm like, I'm going home anyway, so I give a fuck. I chugged that. So when I had to lip sync with Juju, that's yeah. why I started laughing at her, because I was like, I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm living. <laughs> and then when I did the tea bars, I didn't, I, again, skipped lunch because I was wearing a midriff, wasn't trying to look oh, right, fluffy. Yeah. And I had, um, someone didn't drink their drink, so I had like two drinks. And I was real, feeling real saucy. I'm like, I'm going out happy. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you join us on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash TV for bonus tea, delicious dish, and things that we can't fit in the main show with Tatiana. It's gonna be on our Patreon right now, all some delicious, juicy stuff that I can't fit in the main Halloween show. So make sure you check that out. 
Now, Tatiana, you've been an incredible guest today. We've had so much fun Thanks. chatting. You've given me so much juice. <laughs> oh, it's so delicious. But there's one little Halloween-themed game I would like to play with you oh. before we go. Yes. <laughs> it's a little storytelling game. Okay. Because this is a segment we like to call Tati's Tale of Terror! Ah! I want you to, in the scariest way you can, oh, Jesus. relate to me the horrifying tale of the time Tyra put your phone number oh. on the internet. Oh? <laughs> so let us begin Jesus. with some spooky music. And then, Tati, <laughs> you'll take it away. I gotta talk like that? Well, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the scary story is for you, you're gonna do it. So okay. give, me a, give, me some, give me some spooky music. <laughs> All right. Tatiana, oh. take it away. So. <laughs> so spooky. <laughs> coming home from a gig, and I checked on my phone, to which I found out that Morgan McMichaels had died. Oh. Um, oh. Then I call Miss Morgan, and she answered the phone. What? Oh. Not dead at all. <laughs> she was undead. <laughs> so, after that, um, I was like, well, this is rude. This weird meme that's now out there with Morgan being dead and Tyra putting it out there. Would you say it was maddening? <laughs> yes, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I gave Tyra a sweet little text uh -huh. saying, hey girl, mm. take that shit down. Ooh. To which she did not appreciate. She oh. was horrified. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was. So much so that after we had our texting conversation, started getting weird phone calls. Numbers I did not know. Uh oh From the grave? From across the world. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I got a text saying, Tyra put your phone number on Instagram. Oh. Horrible! And then I put her number on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and then we feuded for a solid month. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> The scariest story of them all. Oh, terrified. <laughs> Spooky. Spooky. There we go. <laughs> Tatiana, thank you so much for being here, sweetie. Thank you for having you me. You spilled the tea. You gave the juice. You look like Princess Executive Assistant. Uh, uh, you've turned it so fiercely that, sweetie, you've won Halloween and you've snatched a trophy. Yeah! And sweetie, because we know you like the menses, I said not one go-go boy, uh -oh. but two go-go boys for a double Halloween lap Queen, everybody, and we'll see you next time on Hey Queen. Bye, baby. Yeah!